In this video, I'll be using Group Policy to install progressive web apps with Microsoft Edge. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, in the bottom of the page, you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find videos about my Windows Server setup. And there is also a video about installing policy templates for managing Microsoft Edge settings via Group Policy. And here you can see the objective for this video. I will be installing Twitter, Telegram and Spotify progressive web apps. And now I'll begin this video by going to my VMware workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. And here I'll be creating my group policy. So I'll go to Tools, Group Policy Management. I will right click on Group Policy Objects and select New. I will name the policy Edge Settings. Then I will click OK. I will expand Group Policy Objects. I will select the policy that I created. Then I will right click on it and select Edit. And because I will be creating this policy for my computers, I will go to Computer Configuration, Policies, Administrative Templates, and I will click on Microsoft Edge. Then I will scroll down. And somewhere here we have this setting right here called Configure List of Forced Installed Web Apps. I will click on it. I will enable this policy. And here we need to provide a JSON object with the information about the web apps that we want to install. And for that, I will go back to my GitHub page. And as you can see here, I have this PowerShell snippet that converts a PowerShell object into a JSON object. And as you can see in this PowerShell object, I have the information about the Twitter web app, then about the Telegram one. And also the last one is for the Spotify. And now I'll click on the button right here to copy the snippet, go back to my server. Here I will open a PowerShell window. And I will insert the snippet here, press enter. And as you can see here, now we have this JSON object. I will just select it. I will copy it, go back to the policy editor and I will insert the value here. And that's basically it. Now I'll click on apply and okay. We can close this window. And here I will go to details and for GPO status, I'll select user configuration settings disabled because currently this policy has only computer settings in it. And I will leave all their settings on default. Now after creating the policy, I need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the computers on which I want to install the web apps. In my case, the organization unit will be this one. It's called computers and it is holding all the computers in my domain. So to assign the policy, I will click and hold on the policy and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. And as you can see, the policy appeared in the list here and also in the list here. And that's basically it. Now to test this policy, I will go to one of my client machines that I have here and I will open Microsoft Edge. And as you can see, even though I have Microsoft Edge opened, the web apps is, are not installing. And that's because even though I created the policy, I didn't give it enough time to update on my client machines. So I'll do it manually. I will go to my start menu. I will type CMD. Here I will type GP update, press enter. And now I need to wait a bit. And as you can see, the policy update was successful. And for the settings to apply, I need to relaunch Microsoft Edge. So if I close it this time and reopen it and we can wait a few seconds, the web apps should be appearing here. As you can see, now we have Twitter. I can open it and see if it's to be working just fine. Then Telegram and also the Spotify one also appeared and everything seems to be working just fine. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one.